We hope that today, as a result of the talk and the accompanying movie, that we will all gain the type of information which will help us to make the right types of choices, particularly those choices we will be making over the Christmas holidays. I'm introducing them.
the maximum that you can receive for a second or third conviction is five years in jail. Now, if you're an impaired driver, you get in your car, and you're involved in some form of an accident, or you hit another car, or you hit a pedestrian, or you hit a person on a bicycle, and you cause bodily harm, you injure somebody. If you're convicted of impaired driving and causing bodily harm, the maximum jail sentence is 10 years in jail. The woman, you may ask you to take one of these tests. If you refuse to take this test, you say, no, I'm not going to take it. You're committing a criminal offense because the criminal code makes a provision that if somebody refuses the demand to take this test, they will be charged and the penalties for that charge are virtually the same as they are for impaired driving. So if you're ever asked to take a test, you must walk. If you're a passenger in a car, and the driver of the car is now impaired, and it's time to leave the party, that driver wants to drive. Don't put your life in somebody else's hands. It's your life. I think you should maintain control of it. If you let an impaired driver drive you, there's always the possibility that you may not wake up the next day, or you may be injured, or you may be involved in a car accident, but you never can tell. These things happen when you least expect them. <coughs> Designated driver programs are good thing. Maybe you want to drink, so you pick one person in your group who doesn't drink at all, and they're the one who drives the vehicle. <laughs>
Would you like to sit down? Melanie has just come from emergency surgery and is out of immediate danger. Oh, God. There's been no brain damage and she won't be mentally handicapped. But her spinal cord is very badly bruised at the point of the fracture. And it's entirely possible that she will never walk again. She may not even regain enough use of her hands to feed herself. Yes. 
and you've been drinking, but you're not charged for drunk driving, but you're under 19. Okay, you're under 19, you have been drinking, and you're stopped by a ride. You could, you could be charged under the Liquor License Act of consuming alcohol and being under 19 years. Okay, it's an offense to drink if you're not 19 years old. I'm sure you're aware of that. Thank you. 